we are going to discuss a deadly virus caused by seven species of herpes virus. First of all, we are going to discuss the herpes simplex virus. We are going to start with the introduction as usual. Deadly virus may occur with or without active foreign disease. Patchy and occasionally sectoral virus atrophy that includes the pigment epithelium is common, as is the elevated IOP. The pupil may be larger than its fellow. Uh, Capings may be fine, stellate, and diffusely distributed across the cornea, as in Fox, the Edit syndrome, but can also be large and grouped together. This is uh, <coughs> presentation, but there is often a past history of herpes simplex keratitis, cold sores, and sometimes gingival herpes. The current episodes of herpetic iritis involve the same eye in almost all patients. And distinguishing hepatic from cytomegalovirus and hepatocyclitis can be difficult. Topical steroid, for example, prednisolone acetate 1% 4 times daily, and the topical cyclopegic in combination with oral antiviral, for example, acyclover 400 mg 5 times a day. <coughs> There is evidence that famciclover or val acyclover is better tolerated than acyclover. Uh, steroids may be delayed and used with caution if active epithelial disease is present. Then a topical antiviral may be added. Raised IOP is treated as necessary. The next virus we are going to discuss here is the varicella zoster virus and a DDV rate is caused by it. As usual, we are going to start with the introduction. Uh, anterior virus of variable severity occurs in about 50% of patients with herpes zoster of Ternicus um, and generally starts one to three weeks after the acute skin rash. Occasionally, in patients with uh, herpes zoster of Ternicus without dermatitis, uh, you have to sign herpetic. Zoster associated iridocyclitis may be recurrent and diagnosis is usually straightforward uh, due to past history of epsilateral uh, herpes zoster of thalmicus. <coughs> PCR analysis of ACOS is indicated exceptionally. It usually presents. Uh, Uh, with um, granulomatous inflammation, sectoral iris atrophy is often present, corneal sensation may be reduced and IOP raised, uh, anterior segment inflammation can occur in primary varicella zoster infection, um, that is in case of chicken pox, particularly in immunocompromised patients and neuroretinitis is also uh, can also be present, but it is very, very rare. Uh, Uveitis has been reported following varicella zoster infection as well. Coming towards treatment, topical steroids and midratex, in addition to standard systemic antiviral treatments of shingles, systemic steroids <coughs> uh, rarely. Um, uh, are given rarely, for example, in cases of uh, optic neuritis. All patients with herpes zoster formicus must be monitored by an ophthalmologist depending on severity. For example, up to weekly for at least six weeks to detect occult ocular inflammation and subsequently possibly uh, long term to detect late complications. Persistence or recurrence of anterior uveitis may respond to a week long dose of acyclovir 800 mg 5 times a day, which is double the dose uh, of that of herpes simplex. And long term systemic antiviral prophylactic treatment may be considered for repeated recurrence. Varicella zoster vaccination offers protection against uh, shingles. The next virus we are going to discuss and uh, for 
everybody's information. Cytomegalovirus is also a type of herpes virus and can cause a deterioritis as well. Uh, <coughs> Cytomegalovirus, I need to say, is the immuno, uh, in the immunocompetent is more common than previously realized. Albeit still less prevalent than herpes simplex virus and medicinal or zoster virus related information. It may be recurrent or chronic and unilateral or bilateral. Elevated IOP is very common. Cytomegalovirus has been reported as a cause of uh, posner schlossman syndrome and <clears throat> patient may present with little or no syringe injection, little limited flare, few cells, uh, corneal endotheliitis and KPs of a range of morphology and sectoral iris atrophy have been reported. Posterior sinecki are very rare. A key diagnostic indicator in some cases only may be a failure to respond to acyclovir or steroid. PCR and antibody assay of aqueous samples should be considered if there is clinical suspicion. Now, this uh, will respond to oral dalgancyclovir in proven infection, which sometimes requires long-term continuation. IOP elevation may be persistent. However, it does not respond to acyclovir or steroids, which is now uh, patients when present with endotheliitis, it should not always be labored as uh, herpetic, endoth herpetic endotheliitis, which is most commonly uh, labeled as uh, post hepatic endotheliitis, which is herpes simplex. So, <clears throat> we should always remain vigilant in that case. So, thank you all for the lecture. If you like it, please subscribe and like.